Okay, welcome to the uh, third uh, drone footage there again. We're down at uh, past the Groker Golf Course, about 7 k's um, out of town. And we're going to go south of the river here, or west of the river, I should say. Um, and see us uh, about to cross the river here. There's a, um, like a suspension bridge type format there. That river's moving pretty quick. And um, we're going to cross this guy here actually, Johnny was threatening to jump off this river, but the, the kid's too playing it. You can see here a little a little um, house on the way through there, a little thatch hut. And you can see there the attention detail to the gardens there and that no one disturbs any of the rocks um, or pebbles alongside there. There is little theft or crime in this area, which is very, very surprising. So no one just comes along and destroys someone's little garden patch or anything like that. It's very... Um, uh, safe and uh, well respected from that point of view. You see how lush it is. Then we're looking back towards the golf course there, you can see that it's on the uh, eastern side of us. Uh, the sun's behind us at this stage, we're going in the afternoon. You see how lush it is on this side of the river um, as it is all the way through there, but there's plenty of land on either side of that, uh, that river. You can see how here how unutilized that is. Um, again, little families here living in uh, bamboo type thatch um, homes. Um, again, you don't need to do too much for for plants to take here and you can also see how these areas are, even though that's just a little dirt track, they're well protected. There's an eagle comes up here that's a bit of a totem for us there, a wedge tail, an eastern highlands wedge tail eagle comes into view there and you'll see it coming a bit later in this um, drone shot, it actually comes up and checks out the drone in detail. Uh, luckily it doesn't take the drone out but I think that's a... Uh, it's a good sign and a blessing that uh, the Eastern Highlanders, Highlands uh, Wedgetail Eagle uh, came up and said hello to us and gave us a blessing without destroying our drone. Again, um, this is one of the many crops that are planted there. Um, sweet corn, they do peanuts. Uh, again, they do coffee beans here as well. Um, banana, uh, sugar cane. Uh, again, very underutilised. There's a small crop here, but most of the land here is underutilised. Uh, Johnny's done the bio sheets here. Everybody here is very enthusiastic about joining the um, the hemp plantations that we're going to be putting in here. Um, much more lucrative than any of the other crops. Most of these crops, crops here just go to the local market. They do export a little bit of coffee, but the coffee prices have dropped considerably. Um, you'll see the eagle, by the way, will come up uh, shortly on the left of screen um, and um, he'll then sort of move on towards the, the, the camera. Again, little um, thatch huts, nothing here to protect these land, there's no high security, no one touches these crops, they're never vandalised, they're very well respected, everybody knows each other in here. Um, Johnny is like, um, like family to these people and we have worked very hard particularly Johnny, to get in with the locals here. You can see here this whole valley is completely unutilised and represents thousands of acres. There's the eagle coming up on the left hand side and very shortly you'll see it come in uh, on the right hand side, that's uh, Eastern Highlands Wedgetail Eagle. And he comes in pretty quick here, give us a bit of a fright, there he is. And um, so we're looking back towards Mount Michael up there, we'll show you some other footage from, from up there a bit later on. Um, but you can, again, you can see this whole valley where we we're pointing a little bit to the west there. We're now starting to spin around to the north. And as we come around, you'll see um, just how far back that goes. I don't quite get up high enough to show you what that looks like, but I'll, I'll give you some, some uh, vantage shots from much higher up in the mountains that show you the extent of this valley. and how underutilised this is. This land is premium farming land in any country in the world. Um, unbelievable amount of rainfall and uh, sunlight. And, um, and there's really, really nothing here being exported other than a small amount of coffee beans 
Uh, so this represents an enormous opportunity um, for the, the hemp business to, to get a foothold in here. You see there's a um, plantation here looked after by a local family. These are home crafted organic family, no fertilizers here. Uh, that's Amanda from the PNG newspaper. Uh, she helped us out a lot while we were here.